Hello. I've done a lot of uh, stuff in Kerbal these days. A lot of uh, played, played a lot of mods, and one of the things I don't like about Kerbal is the fact that there's really nothing ongoing about when you set something up. It's really mostly about launching it and then performing a given mission and then being done. So I like setting up remote bases, but that takes a lot of cheating generally um, because the launch pads are so incredibly fragile and you require so many materials. But I'd never seen this mod before, and it, it's really quite nice. Um, although it eats up a ton, it doesn't actually do very much, and it eats up a ton of memory. Um, but it is uh, a lot of, uh, it looks cool, and it's a lot of fun, so I'm going to show it to you. We're going to take Bob here out on EVA. And uh, just uh, pop on down to see the ship proper here. Why that light turn off? That's annoying. So here you can see we've got an airlock. Let's go ahead and go into that airlock. Hmm. Kerbals don't friggin' weigh anything, so they're they uh, their their pack reaction is very sharp. All right, so now we're in the airlock. Now, unfortunately, I have a really bad camera for this. I know that there are cool cameras that allow you to follow the Kerbals very closely, or even inside the helmet. Um, I Actually, I think that the laser camera has such a thing, but I'm going to have to manually do it. So it's uh, symmetrical, so that's just the other airlock, which I can close the interior lock and do the exterior lock. Um, and then I've got some windows. But I've also got some other stuff here. Uh, so, this here, at the top, here at the very top, going back up, so, uh, is, this is a cargo bay, and I filled it with my batteries, which is generally what I do in cargo bays. I, I fill it with whatever random clutter happens to need doing, but I can open this cargo bay, and you can look out into the void of space. Da -da -da. Don't go out there. That would be bad news. And this, uh, this cargo bay is actually significantly better than most because I can't just go through it, which is um, a common problem with cargo bays. So then we've got a window, and then we've got two rooms. This here is uh, basically just bedrooms. And if I press F, I go in, in there, uh, and uh, all, one of my crew is already in there. Um, over here, I've got camera's not quite behaving. Over here, I've got a crew hatch. This is the same thing, um, except it's a different different tile set, I guess, a different uh, mesh set. So we can go down further, and this is actually uh, fuel. Unfortunately, it's not deuterium fuel, so it's useless to actually launch the ship when you're cheating. But it's extremely useful if you're trying to get it up valid. Um, so these are fuel cans off to the side, and you can see that the center remains quite open, so you can cruise on through it. I know that uh, B9 Aerospace has a ship similar to this, but of course it's much, much smaller. This is four meters, and I think that one's only two and a half. Interior space is very, very tiny, uh, like on the order of just over a Kerbal high. So now we're down in the tail. Uh, and the tail section just contains more fuel. Um, but this is actually the engine, and you can see the f extra fuel for, for the engine block, which then connects to the deuterium cells. And then we can go all the way down to the bottom of the tail section, where uh, we have a door. We can come out of the door. Turn on the light. Get a good view here. Do, do, do. We're on the dark side of the planet now, which is an annoying thing. So these are docks, so I'll be able to port other... Um, uh, if I wanted to expand the space station, I could just use these in a standard way. So, open sesame. Oh, don't, don't bump too far off there. I go in through here. Um, oh, am I supposed to be sideways for this? There we are. Just going back in through the crew section. 
I want to see what this one looks like, so I'm going to go in here, board that, and then I'm going to go ahead and see if, I guess I can't, there's no EVA options for them, it looks like. Uh, that's kind of sad. I, uh, I would really like to have seen the EVA. Oh, no, don't boost. I got too used to camera controls in another. Okay, so crew hatch. Cycle airlock crew hatch. Okay, so... Trying to find... Bob Kerman. So I can't do it. I was kind of curious as to whether they'd modeled the interiors, but it doesn't look like they have. All right, so I just wanted to show you that mod, and it's uh, it's a really cool uh, mod that you now can't see because uh, I'm behind the planet and it's dark. Um, well, I... here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. So it's a. Uh, uh, there are a lot of cool things that Kerbal can do that it just generally doesn't, and I think that this sort of thing is probably in Kerbal's future.